Hello, you can't see me because it's really dark right now, but I woke up at 6 naturally. Maybe I'll see the sunrise today. Only me Mew is okay with being held for a bit. Do you guys see these books here? They're not for aesthetic. Somehow the bed broke. And putting the books under here makes it more stable. I would not recommend this bed. I feel like it was really wobbly to begin with because some things just didn't fit in, right? And yeah, it broke. I really like how this bed looks. Maybe we'll just keep the books down here for now. It's so early in the morning that I don't even know what to do. I haven't gone up this early in months. I made a tissue box. This is the top. And a little holder. These are my absolutely favorite noodles. They are so good. So noodles. The rest you can eat with rice or more noodles. With some cucumber, chili, oil, vinegar. Brunch, breakfast is done. I also have a whole day appointment today, so I always try to eat a very full meal before I go in. If I'm hungry, I don't have any attention span at all. This is the vibe today, as always. Have my thermals on. Bring this bonnet that I made. I think I'm gonna bring my camera into studio, so I'm gonna bring a bigger tote bag. Let's go! How do you feel? Sore. I am done for today. I am done with the back piece. I am so, so, so happy. Uh, I don't even know what session this is, but this was the second day of our two consecutive sessions, like every two, three months. I'm sorry I didn't really vlog much of the process because I didn't know where to put my camera. <laughs> Um, I was trying to put it in like different places. Then there was also a lot of blood, so I don't think YouTube would like that. I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud of Cindy's pain tolerance. <laughs> I feel like I've accomplished something because this was the first a uh, large-scale back piece that someone has ever requested for me and it gave me a lot of confidence to do larger scale pieces no one is at the studio here today except for me um, it has officially I think around this week last year we signed the lease for the new studio that was quite the process it was very stressful but we got the space and then we had to remodel the whole space but since this is a commercial building they gave us i think two three months free to do all the renovations i'm gonna give you guys a quick little tattoo studio tour i turned on all the ring lights so that it's a little bit brighter i don't want to turn on the fluorescent lights on the ceiling because i think it's just not vibes so this is a little overview of the space once you walk in you change into slippers and then you hang anything you need to hang these are our bathroom keys because the bathroom is outside and these are our lovely cabinets i did most of the designing for the studio and let me tell you i was fucking stressful because i didn't realize at that time how long it took furniture to ship originally i want white cabinets from ikea they were and still are out of stock i don't really care about them because i really like these this is our little sitting area um this is a gift from vicky we moved our couch from here over here because our plants were all dying and now that they're next to the window well at least these ones they're very much alive over here is a very nice pillow, a very cozy seat, 
a lot of times when we're just waiting for appointments, we just... I also hung some dried flowers over there. This is our little table for us to design tattoos, eat. We have a little mirror here. This pothos is thriving, but this, this is beyond saving, honestly. <laughs> we have a watering schedule, but I think these are just too far from the window. And most of the lighting here is all indirect sunlight. These plants here are doing great. We also have a mirror here. It is a foam mirror that I did. This is our tattooing space. We have four artists. Me, my co-owner Kat, Abel, and Goo. Occasionally, we have guest artists like my friend Sam that guested here last month, but most of the time, it's just the four of us. This is where Abel works. This is where Goo works. This is our cleaning cart. Mirror. This is my station, and this is Cat Station. Our Monstera is doing really well. This is a weaving that I did last year. Panos, a little painting up there. This is Cat and I's color cart. These are all my colors, these are all her colors, and we just share everything. We also have a lot of little space heaters around the studio because since it is a commercial building, they shut down the heat at 5 p.m. Ennui is a feeling of listlessness arising from a lack of occupation or excitement. I think it's really cute. Studio Ennui. Ennui Studio. And yeah, that is mostly it to our studio tour. I don't think I could have ever planned or imagined myself having my own tattooing space or even tattooing in general. The life lesson here that I have learned is that I just gotta go with the flow because I never know what will happen. I'm gonna go home now. It is getting pretty dark and I think it's raining right now. It takes me like 40-50 minutes to get home. I think I'm gonna go home and just lay in bed. I spent the morning playing with some ceramics, had a meeting, took a shower because it got really dusty, and now I am doing a face mask. I wanted to share with you guys my Christmas wish list. I already bought two of them, which I am really excited about. Okay, so first we have a kneeling chair. I've been complaining about my back a lot, so I had like three friends recommend me getting a kneeling chair. There is a cheaper option compared to the Varrier ones that I looked at, but I saw that Varrier had a green one and I love the color green so I could not resist and I splurged a little bit it is coming today so I'm really really excited number two, I wanted another comforter I've been sleeping in this little fluffy blanket but I just want like a regular comforter with a duvet cover and I'm gonna put this on the couch so that the couch is really cozy my boyfriend and I sleep under separate blankets I, I don't like sleeping with him in the same blanket because uh, he always stews the blankets and he moves a lot in his sleep. I'm a pretty still sleeper. I don't like being touched in my sleep and sometimes my sleep is really light. Having two blankets as a couple is a really good decision, especially if your partner moves a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got these two things, the kneeling chair, this better be the best decision of my life. Number three, I want an iPad mini uh, because I read a lot of ebooks and my iPad is just really big. It's kind of heavy to carry around so I feel like the mini iPad would be really good for reading and also going to the tattoo studio so I don't have to bring my big iPad everywhere. Number four, I want an Akari lamp or a hanging light. Uh, I've been thinking about this for a few months. I feel like they look really pretty. I just think they're a little bit expensive. Ikea does have cheaper choices, so I might just go with that if 
if I really get irritated by how my dining table looks. <laughs> Number five, maybe some scarves from W Concept, the really big, fluffy, weaved ones. Number six, I want a stuffed animal. I think my boyfriend's gonna get that for me for Christmas. And last one, number seven, some candles. I have a lot of candles, so this isn't very necessary. I just really like the vibe of candles and the smell of candles. After I lay in bed, I'm gonna do some cleaning, maybe do some editing. And I'm getting dinner with friends after a Hong Kong diner. Yeah, and everybody else who sees the baby artist. As you can tell, my favorite color is green. 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 <laughs> nice. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.